Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our video is about cesarean scar ectopic pregnancy. Definition Cesarean scar pregnancy is an abnormal implantation of the gestational sac in the area of the prior cesarean delivery scar, potentially leading to life threatening complications including severe hemorrhage, uterine rupture, and development of placenta accreta spectrum disorders. Caesarean scar pregnancy is generally considered a peculiar type of ectopic pregnancy, although within the uterine cavity and it can result in a live-born infant if first and the second trimester complications don't occur, despite the large majority of women with this condition develop placenta accreta spectrum. Caesarean scar pregnancy is not a unique condition but encompasses different clinical phenotypes according to the size of the prior caesarean delivery scar, degree of implantation of the gestational sac in the area of the scar, and the residual myometrial sickness. Incidence The estimated incidence of caesarean scar pregnancy is approximately 1 to 1,800 to 1 to 2,000 pregnancies after caesarean delivery. Diagnosis The best imaging modality to diagnose a caesarean scar pregnancy is transvaginal ultrasound with a partially full bladder, which allows a more objective assessment of the relationship between gestational sac implantation and the myometrium. First trimester MRI doesn't seem to add substantial information for the diagnosis and for the stratification of the severity of caesarean scar pregnancy. Gestational age at ultrasound has also significant impact on the detection rate of caesarean scar pregnancy. Prenatal diagnosis of caesarean scar pregnancy is easier in the early first trimester of pregnancy less than 9 weeks of gestation. With advancing gestation, the upper pole of the gestational sac grows towards the uterine fundus, thus making prenatal identification of caesarean scar pregnancy more challenging. This makes the assessment of the low implantation of the gestational sac more difficult to detect. However, as the gestational sac extends to the fundus, the placenta is still in the niche of the prior scar, making this a useful marker for the diagnosis of placenta accreta spectrum in the late first trimester. Prenatal diagnosis of caesarean scar pregnancy implies a careful evaluation of the relationship between the gestational sac and the prior caesarean delivery scar. The following diagnostic criteria should be fulfilled. Number one, empty uterine cavity. Number two, gestational sac or solid mass of trophoblast located anteriorly at the level of the internal os embedded at the site of the previous lower uterine segment caesarean section scar. Number three, thin or absent layer of myometrium between the gestational sac and the bladder. Number four, evidence of prominent trophoblastic or placental circulation on Doppler examination. Number five, empty endocervical canal. Summary of caesarean scar ectopic pregnancy on ultrasound. Number one, low-lying anteriorly located gestational sac, not in the cervix. Number two, eccentric, Within anterior myometrium, presumed caesarean scar site. Number three, well defined oval gestational sac, not elongated or distorted. Number four, adequate sac echogenic decidual reaction around, not ill defined or thin. Number five, adequate perigestational vascularity with viability. Number six, homogeneous fundal endometrium. No intrauterine hematoma or collection. Number seven, 
send overlying anterior myometrium residual less than 2 mm. All these findings are suggesting cesarean scar ectopic pregnancy.